Hey, what's up, people? Majidi Yahoo here again with another video. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your images pop in Adobe Photoshop. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you click the notification button so that you don't miss out any updates. So, without further ado, let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you three ways you can make your images pop in Adobe Photoshop. First, we are going to use Camera Raw. To do that, you have to select the image you would like to work on, go to filter and select camera raw filter, which the shortcut key is shift control A, as you can see here. So click on the camera raw filter and when you have this pop-up window here, all you have to do is to use the slide given here to achieve the result you wish to with your image so in this cover at how i edited everything was i just moved the slide up and down up and down till i find what i like right so you can just be using the exposure contrast highlights shadows white black if you don't understand it but when you slide it you see the effect of everything so if you use the slider for contrast you see how it always so you just have to use them to achieve the results that you want to but even when you use the highlights you can see how the highlights just shoots up and then the shadows too as well all the slides have their own unique purposes so just try your hands on it and see how it, it will work best but for me what I did was I moved the contrast to 37% and then the highlight to 81. As you can see, the more I move it to the side, it add the highlight to it and it's just making the image nice. And also the shadows was negative. I wanted to bring down the shadows a bit so that you can see the highlights more so i slide the shadow slide to 20 negative 21 percent and then the white to 87 percent so as i move it you just see how the images keep mm, popping up right you just keep popping popping and popping and popping so 87 on the white and then the black 30 yes. so as you can see let me show you the before and after this is the before and this is the after before after before after so you can also use the same technique to work on your image when you are working on any design that involves images, right? All you have to do is just try and experiment and see. Every image is different. So just experiment and see which one works best for you. So as you can see, the, this is the after and this is the before. This is the after, this is the before. Everything is just amazing. And then I added this effect. So after everything, I captured the whole design using Control Shift Alt E, and then I converted it into smart objects. I also applied the same camera raw filter, but then this time I only moved the vibrance slide to 54, and that's it. So voila. So next, you can also use levels. To make your images pop the level adjustment so if you come to this side and you click on the levels you can do whatever you wish with the levels to make your image pop as you see fit so with the levels and curves adjustments you have highlights mid tones and then shadows 
even in the images too it applies to the images too as well you see you can see the highlights on the skin of the girl here around and even the eyes and then the mid tones then the shadows so just ask yourself how do you want your image to look like how do you want it to pop so for me i want i want the highlight to show more and then the shadow to, to show more so that the highlights will pop and the colors and the everything will be nice and amazing so you can just use this slide here to I just use this slide here to see how everything works see bring in the highlights more the mid tones bring in the shadows the highlights a bit and uh, so before after before after all you have to do is just keep using the slide and do whatever you want to do just make sure you are you know what you want and all like just make sure you you know achieve whatever you want to achieve using this and those for the images please <laughs> yes so i think this is okay so before after before after if you are using this image in a design it will really look nice but this is the case where it's just only an image so all you can see is the image but it's so really colorful and bright and everything is just shouting hey yeah my i'm nice and beautiful so with the next sample we are going to use case adjustment so like i showed you when you come to the layers down below click on the um, adjustments layer and then you come to the case so here too it, it's like it's the same thing high this side is highlight mid tones and then shadows so just adjust it to how you see fit and what you want to like how you want your image to look like so all you need to do is to click and then move see if you move it upwards it, that's the highlights portion so if you move it upwards it adds more highlights if you bring it downwards it take out highlights as well so this is the case where we don't want to take out the highlights we want to add more highlights and then the shadows to we add it a little bit more so click move it up it had highlights and then the shadows too when you bring it down you add more shadows or when you bring it up you just take out the shadows as well so all you have to do is click move it down even in the mid tones to maybe we bring it down a little bit no it's too much bring it down a little bit and then add highlight as well so you yeah, see before after before after you see so guys this is how you can make your images pop in adobe photoshop and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel this is the end of the video make sure you share you like you comment if you have anything in mind that you want to know just ask i will try my best to make a tutorial about it kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification button for more updates don't miss out peace